All right, let me give my little quick review. First off, this is sick. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool. The software is not hard to use. You just got to learn it. I mean, it's not hard. But I want to note it. I want you guys to notice one thing. These fans are not spinning. These are Lee and Lee, the SL fans. These fans will not work with this fan controller, which I call BS on that. If you want to be proprietary, okay, but your name brand should work on the controller no matter what. So that's something I have to figure out. Uh, second, this is my case. So be careful what you're putting this in because I wanted to take advantage of the clean look where it goes up and it folds up nice there. Uh, that's my fault though. You just can't do it in this uh, height 60 case. You just can't. You need a bigger case. But there's a comment I've read. There's only a few of us. This kind of upsets me. So everything's quiet. Everything looks neat. But let me hit Cinebench real quick. And listen to this. And I know you can't see that on camera, but that fan is bouncing up and down. It's this fan right here. I don't mind touching it because it's already past the warranty as far as uh, where I bought it. But yeah, thank you, Lee and Lee. Not only do your fans not work with the controller, you send me a bum TL fan, which I spend more for. But it's at 75 degrees around the center bench. That is good. It is keeping it cool still, but that's disappointing. 